All I can say is that this is turning into a circus, and there comes a and point damaging in damaging the party. Yeah, I, I don't care if he drops out. Stay in the race. Just stop being a jackass. Mm -hmm. You don't have to run for president and be the world's biggest jackass. Uh, you know, I'm saying to myself, what's this guy, a beggar? He's like begging me to help him with Fox and Friends. So I say, okay, and I'll mention your name. He said, could you mention my name? I said, yes, I'll mention. And he gave me his number, and I found the card. It, I wrote the number down. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. 228-0292. I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, it's three, four years ago, so maybe it's an old number. 202-228-0292. So, I don't know. Give it a shot. child of two mathematicians and scientists. I believe in following evidence and data. On the global warming alarmists, anyone who actually points to the evidence that disproves, disproves their apocalyptical claims, they don't engage in reason debate. What do they do? They scream, you're a denier. They brand you a heretic. You know, it, it is, today the global warming alarmists are the equivalent of the flat earthers. You know, it used to be, it is accepted scientific wisdom, the earth is flat, and this heretic named Galileo was br branded a denier. How can we expect our civilization to survive if we destroy the most innocent and vulnerable among us? How can we claim that we're superior to nations that commit genocide if we commit infanticide? Planned Parenthood takes over a half a billion tax dollars every year. They perform abortions and sell baby body parts. Rand Paul is taking action. As a pro-life doctor, Rand Paul cared for premature babies to save their sight. As a conservative leader, Rand is forcing a vote this week to end taxpayer funding of Planned Parenthood. At the national level, who deserves a punch in the face? Oh, the National Teachers Union who's already endorsed Hillary Clinton 16, 17 months before the election. Before, Why? Before, because they're not for education for our children. They're for greater membership, greater benefits, greater pay for their members. Uh, this president's foreign policy is the most feckless uh, in American history. Uh, he's so naive, he would trust the Iranians, and he would take the Israelis and basically march them to the door of the oven. You can't just say because it happened that way this time, this is the same situation. It's not the same situation. Because people have no control over their race, for instance. You think they have control over their sexuality? Absolutely. You think being gay is a choice? Absolutely. Why do you say that? Because a lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. So did something happen while they were in there?